So, Brian, we had thousands downtown for the Detroit Grand Prix. Ferndale Pride was yesterday. Oh, yeah. Lots of sunshine. You needed to stay hydrated, needed that sunscreen, needed Absolutely. a hat. You have to come prepared. A little bit of everything, and it looks like that trend is going to continue for the majority okay. of next week, although temperatures aren't going to be as warm. But another thing we're going to be watching is that hazy sunshine. You probably saw it as you were heading outside for any of those events today. We're going to keep that hazy sunshine into the forecast thanks to that wildfire smoke as we head into early next week. Temperatures remaining on the seasonable side of things as we look ahead to next week as well. And rain does return to the forecast, but it's going to be a little bit before it works into the region. Exactly. Track 4D radar tracking the latest smoke across southeastern Michigan. This moderate gray here over most of the region that's showing a moderate level of smoke. So that's giving us that hazy sunshine outside the thicker smoke working from Sandusky down toward Port Huron. And I don't think these levels are going to change much as we go through the overnight and into early next week on Monday as well. Well, I did have tower cam there for a second there. 70s for most everyone outside feeling very comfortable and that's all thanks to high pressure controlling the forecast over portions of Canada just off to our east. This is going to keep us dry for at least another day or so, but we do have a cold front off to the north here. That's going to slip over the U.S. Canadian border and work down into our region as we go from tomorrow night into early on Tuesday morning, and that's just going to bring a little drop in temperatures, And but it's not going to help clear out any of that wildfire smoke. Our latest forecast model here keeps that smoke firmly in play. These darker oranges are some of that moderate to thicker smoke by 8 o'clock tomorrow night, still dealing with it over a good portion of the state, but it looks like it stays with us overnight Monday and into Tuesday before we may start to scour a little bit out of that here before it's all said and done. In terms of any rain, not for at least the next couple days, we get a little more cloud cover in by early tomorrow morning, but mostly sunny for majority of the day. That cold front moves in by late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, so we will increase the cloud cover overnight Monday into early on Tuesday morning, maybe an isolated shower off to the north of the region. I think we stay dry as we go from Monday night and into Tuesday, but while we have a little cloud cover to start the day, mostly sunny skies move in by the afternoon and that dry weather sticks around until we hit next weekend. That's our next chance of rain. We're dry for Friday with a little more cloud cover Friday night into early on Saturday morning, but as another cold front sweeps in, this model keeps us dry the majority of Saturday before the rain starts to move in late Saturday night into early on Sunday morning, but as of right now, as a fast mover. We may start the early morning hours on Sunday with rain showers, but I do think we dry things out late Sunday morning heading into early on Sunday afternoon. So for tonight, 70s early dropping very quickly into the 60s by midnight, 50s overnight tonight and heading into early tomorrow morning. We keep the sunshine, a uh, hazy sunshine into the forecast tomorrow, but temperatures warmer. We're back into the 80s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. 70s stick around Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday before we rebound to 80 on Friday. The rain, it's not going to be a complete washout as we head into the weekend. 80s on Saturday, 70s for next Sunday. We'll continue to track that rain very closely. That'll be our first chance of rain in at least two to two and a half weeks.